An emotional day for Father Michael Flager and St. Sabina parishioners as he led Sunday Mass at the church for the first time in five months. The Archdiocese cleared the priest of sex abuse allegations, paving the way for his return to the altar. And Father Flager hit back at his critics while also thanking the supporters who stood by his side. When your name is called, prove the doubters wrong and that you're still mighty and strong. It was with those lyrics that Father Michael Flager announced his return to the pulpit of St. Sabina Catholic Church five months and a day after decades-old accusations of sexual abuse saw him sidelined from the post he has held for nearly 40 years. I want to thank you for not running and hiding. I thank you for keeping my voice out there when I had no voice. Director Spike Lee was among the 300 parishioners who enthusiastically greeted the priest's return to a church where many have been here as long, if not longer, than Flager. We missed him so, but I, I knew in my heart, I knew all the time in my heart they would be back home. I'm fully vaccinated, everybody, so y'all know. <laughs> a popular yet controversial figure, Father Flager has often been at odds with church officials, and at one point he needed police protection because of his social activism. It is his popularity, though, within the St. Sabina community that has kept him at the helm even through this latest storm. This is my heart. This is my home. Um, I miss the people. Now, clear of the accusations against him, Flager made it clear both after the service but especially during it, he is not changing his ways anytime soon. But as Muhammad Ali said, when he laid on the boxing ring floor, the ground is no place for a champion to be. And so whether you like it or not, I got back up and the fight is still on. Now, the attorney for the accusers says that they are disappointed in the Archdiocese's decision to clear Father Flager, but they say they do not regret coming forward. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.